Hey guys, welcome to Dark Angel Beauty. Thank you so much for tuning in today. If you haven't noticed, I have donned my makeshift beret and my turtleneck, and I have my brightly colored, fresh purple, uh, purple her up in here because I am channeling my inner artiste. I felt like the Bob Ross fro was not really my aesthetic, so I went with this instead. And that is because today I have a very exciting new first impression for you guys. It is the Glam Light. I think it's called the Arti the Artist Artiste the Artiste I can't speak today. The Artist Palette I believe is what it is called. I want to call it the Palette Palette because it's a paint palette that's an eyeshadow palette, so it's like an Inception type palette situation going on here. But you get a wide variety of really gorgeous rainbow effect colors, lots of mattes, lots of pretty glitter shades as well. So there's just a ton to work with in this palette. Of course, the packaging itself is amazing. And it also came with this really cool eyeshadow brush that is like a little paintbrush. So there's just a lot of really cool things that came with this. It is normally a $45 palette. I did pick it up when they were doing one of their um, pre-Black Friday sales. So I believe I paid $27 for it. And I bought a whole bunch of other Glam Light products as well. That being said, this is a true first impression for me. I have never used the brand before. I've heard wonderful things about them, but it is my first time playing with the products. I did pick up a couple of the other better known products from them, the Pizza Palette, the Burger Palette, the Taco Palette, the ones that other larger YouTubers have really um, kind of dived into and uh, given nice reviews and, and tutorials with. That being said, I really haven't seen anything about this particular palette because it is limited edition and it is very new on the market. So I'm not sure how long it's gonna be there, but I did wanna get it out there first for you guys so you can see how it is. Um, because of the wide variety of colors that are provided with us in this palette, I'm going to attempt to do a rainbow look. Of course, anything could happen. It may turn out terrible and it may wind up like that cane cane look that turned into a whole different eye look. Not bad, just not candy canes at all. So uh, we'll see what winds up happening as we progress. But that being said, uh, we're gonna dive right into it. Really quickly, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. We need love here, we're fun. We do cool stuff like this. I spent a lot of money on makeup, so you should subscribe. You should do that. Just hit the little hit the little button. I did look up pictures of, uh, of rainbows and like the order they go in. I believe it's like, Purple, blue, green, yellow, orange, red. I believe purple is the first one though, right? No, I was right. I was dead right. So it's purple, blue, green, yellow, orange, red. I was right and then I doubted myself. So the moral of this story is always believe in yourself. Anyway, moving along. So I'm gonna start with this nice, really bright purple shade. I'm gonna use my Betty Boop brush because I wanna do a nice white outside color. And I did, I primed my eyes like about 35 minutes ago, so it's very possible it has gotten a little bit uh, tacky. The payoff on this brush is like, I mean, gosh, can you really see that purple? Can you see it on camera, babe? It's like, it's very purple. And it's really doing a nice job of like packing on very well. And I say packing on, I mean like it, there's not a lot of like loose areas. Sometimes with certain formulas and certain eyeshadows, you'll see kind of like, gaps where your brush doesn't quite hit it well enough or whatever and it winds up just looking a little bit meh. And I'm not seeing that at all. It's looking really, really nice and even, which I really appreciate because that means it's just less that you have to like try and, and make it look. Oh God, there was hair all up in that when I went to do that. The beret is not a headband, so it is just kind of pushing the hair onto my face further. So that's a, that's a whole thing. Purple's on, I like the purple a lot. Very pretty. And now we do have a couple, like we've got like a violet shimmer purple as well. And I'm not sure how I'm gonna do the inside of my eyes yet, but we're, we're gonna just do one section at a time and see how it goes. Yeah, I've got some ideas for it. Next thing we're gonna move into, I'm gonna use the royal blue rather than the navy blue because I want it to be a little bit of a brighter look than a dark look. So we're gonna do this. Go in here with this. And oh my gosh, I'm not normally a blue eyeshadow person. I don't really like the way that they look normally on me in particular, but this is a gorgeous color. That is a super pretty color. Do you see how pretty that is? And on the brush, that's what it looks like on the brush, if you guys can see it. Okay, so got the blue and the purple on there, so we, we moving into that uh, green territory now. And um, just so far, I'm really liking this palette. It's 
a really great asset to have if you want like vibrant colors in your collection. Now it's not everybody's thing, obviously. There's a lot of colors that like my mother would not use this palette ever and I'm aware of that because it's just not really her style. So, and there's nothing wrong with that. It's just like for somebody like me who loves colors, this is something that is like, yes, I'm all for this. I'm all for like the formula. Just, it's just so easy to, to pack on there. I'm kind of shocked actually at how well and receptive the colors are being to um taking on to my skin especially considering like i said i put on my eyeshadow primer like 35 maybe 40 minutes ago at this point so it's been on there waiting for like a hot second and it's just like no we're good we're gonna stay okay um i'm gonna move into green i am going to take now my in stylish brush if you guys haven't seen that video um i'm gonna get nikki to go ahead and link that because we did do a whole review on that in stylish is great we've partnered with them and um if you want to purchase the brush set after you watch the review of it or you see me using it you can it's super affordable they have great products and you can get 10 percent off if you use the code dark angel you should do that we got our own promo code guys we're making something happen so uh yeah anyway shameless plug right there. I am going to take the um, the brush and I'm just going to grab a little bit of the green. I'm going to do just a little bit of like a transition into it. I don't want to do a ton of green because honestly I'm just not a huge green fan. So I'm just going to do like a touch here. Dude bro do you see that? That looks so cool. <laughs> Funny story is we started everybody for pride they did like the cool rainbow eye looks and stuff. We started um, our channel right after that trend kind of had died out and I didn't want to like do it then because I was like, everybody's gonna be like, this is not relevant anymore. So instead, this is my pride eye look for not pride month. It, it's just showing off this really cool palette. So, so hopefully next year we'll still have like a, a page. I would assume next year we'll still have a page, but God knows what's going to happen in life. So here we go into uh, yellow now, which we did determine is the next shade in this whole uh, rainbow spectrum thing. And I'm not going to lie. I feel like I'm running out of eye space. So there's very possible uh, that it's very possible that like red's going to wind up going on the bottom side. So in fact, I feel like just to make my life a whole lot easier, I'm just going to go ahead and say, yes, I'm going to put red on the bottom side, but I'm like super digging how this looks. I'm not going to lie. It's, it's pretty freaking cool, right? All right, going in with orange now. They have a couple different options for this particular like orangey vibrant look that I'm going with, but I'm gonna go just straight orange. They do have a coral. They have a fuchsia too, which would be kind of cool, I think, but it's not orange enough for me. So we're going straight orange. I love this palette. Holy crap, this looks so cool. I feel like it has very little to do with my actual makeup skills and more that just like the formula for these colors are amazing. I'm not like hating on myself. I have somewhat skills, but this is looking a lot better than I thought it was going to, so. All right, well, that's just absolutely freaking cool. So I'm gonna clean it up a little bit off camera and then um, I'm going to do, I believe I'm gonna do a, it's gonna either be white or gold because there's a really cool shimmery white shade and then there's a really pretty gold shade in the center and then we're gonna do some red on the bottom side and we gonna see how it winds up looking because I think it's looking pretty <laughs> cool right now. So I have decided, I did use the white to do like just a little bit of like a cleaning up around the under eye, uh, the under brow part. I'm gonna do the gold for the inner and I'm going to do red on the bottom and we're gonna see what winds up happening. I love this palette. I am not gonna lie. I had really high hopes to begin with and now I'm like, holy crap. So I'm going to start with the gold. I'm going to use um, my nice little tapered in stylish brush right here. This brush literally picks up pigment like no other. So um, I think for this glitter, it's going to do a really nice job of really um, being able to pack it on there. I hope you guys can see like how gold that brush just turned considering it was clean because I just washed it the other day, which like for me, that's a big deal. Oh my god, I feel like the Lucky Charms dude. Like, this is my rainbow and here's my pot of gold. Bow down to me. I am your king now. This is great. Everything about this is amazing. I'm sad that I uh, it took me this long to get some uh, Glamlight products, but I'm really excited to try the rest of them. I know that. I am going to clean up just a little bit of the areas where I kind of like messed up the blue. We're going to go in with the red. We're going to do the under and our rainbow connects like one big happy circle. All right. I think it's time for some mascara and see how this 
whole thing turned out. Actually, I lied. I'm going to put like a little bit of gold just on the outside corner as well. I love this. Holy crap, do I love this. All right, cool. So, uh, Glam Light, your products are amazing. I'm sorry that it took me this long to buy them, but I will be buying them for a, uh, ever, forever. So, yeah. All right, well, once again, this is the palette. This is what it looks like. I love it. I love the eye look I created. I love everything about it. It was super quick. I didn't spend a ton of time doing it. If I had really spent a lot of time doing it, I probably could have made it even freaking cooler. There's just so much you can do with this palette. Now, unless you're doing something bold like what I chose to do, it's probably not a palette you're gonna use on your own, but you know what? I'm all for bold looks, so be bold. Don't let anybody hold you back, do you? Um, I love it though. I'm so excited to be able to play with the pizza palette, the taco palette, the burger palette, the other ones that I got from them that are really, really cool in terms of the packaging. And then I also got three just basic like palettes with a lot of gorgeous colors in there. There's a purple one, there's a neutral one, there's like a kind of a pinky glitter shade one. Awesome, I can't wait to play with these products. I'm just so blown away. I've, like I said, I've heard nothing but great stuff about it. A lot of the YouTubers have talked about how amazing Glam Light products are. And I just have to say, like, in terms of their shipping, it took a little bit longer than normal, but it, everything arrived so well protected. There was like layers and layers of bubble wrap. They did such a great job of making sure that everything arrived safely to me that the fact that it took a little bit longer than I would expect a, a package to get did not bother me even in the slightest. So just absolutely have nothing but amazing things to say about Glam Light so far. And uh, I can't wait to, uh, to play with some more of their awesome products. So thank you guys so much for tuning in today. I did mention at the beginning of the video, but if you haven't subscribed, please do so. We really like you uh, to join the, the family. We have a, a good time here and we do a lot of cool stuff. So if you want to, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you see every time we post really cool things. Um, we do have a giveaway coming up very quickly. It is going to be announced on December 25th and I've got a lot of really cool things um, that we're planning on showing you that we are going to be giving away to one of our lucky viewers and subscribers. Yeah, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. And other than that, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and stay girly with a dark twist.